What's up guys, I'm Jeremy Feldman and this is my very good buddy and real estate business partner, Kyle. And in today's episode of Lively Charleston, we're going to take a look inside one of our city's coolest places to come hang out, watch some college football, grab a burger, and sip on the Long Island iced teas, drunker redneck cousin. The Brick is owned by Virginia Tech alum and super Hokie fan, Matt Quillen, and it has one of the coolest stories you'll ever hear for a local business. No joke, this place burned down on April Fool's Day in 2013, only to be reopened again four years later on a joyous St. Patrick's Day. Now we're here standing out in front of the new location 18 months after reopening for business. So let's head inside, take a look, and meet Matt. All right, brother. Hey, dude, thanks for having us, man. Cheers. No problem, man. Thank you for coming by. First of all, I'm kind of hungry, so what do we uh, what do we need to order here? Burgers are, are, are pretty much our go-to. Today, I'm going to let you all try. We do a special burger every month, and then we'll uh, donate $2 of everyone sold to whatever charity of the month. This month of November, we're doing Feed the Need, oh, that's cool. uh, which is a local charity that uh, helps take some of the financial burden off the local soup kitchens and uh, shelters. Very cool. Yeah. All right, so what's the burger this it's month? It's the Thanksgiving burger. Okay. So we did it last year. It's, usually, it's basically a turkey burger with stuffing, um, some kind of like cranberry sauce mayo kind of thing, and then uh, the side of gravy that you can dump the uh, burger no in. Way. Yeah. Nice, yeah. all right, all right, yeah. sounds good. Yeah. So that's the burger of the month. What's kind of your staple burger? I've heard some I've heard some word on the streets. Yeah, yeah. staple burger is, is the Hokie burger, okay. which, which is a burger with like um, barbecue, smoked cheddar, bacon if you want it. Sell a lot of those during the Virginia Tech games. Yeah. Right. Okay. Tell us about the kind of the Hokie uh, community here in, in Charleston. Are they pretty wild? Or yeah, how's that go? The, the whole thing was actually kind of surprising to me. I'd always heard there was like a fairly large Hokie um, alumni down here. Um, I think last time I looked, there's about a thousand or so alumni in the wow. area. Yeah. yeah. That's so, wild. Yeah. That's wild. Which just doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're not a Clemson nerd in yeah. Carolina, it actually has <laughs> quite a few people. Yeah. So it used to be located somewhere else. Yes, we were Tell down. Us about that. So we used to be located at uh, 213 East Bay, which is pretty much right across from the Custom House. It was there for 10 years or nine years before I even took over. But then there was a fire in April of 2013. Um, the bar above mine caught fire and uh, kind of took me, the squeeze, and that bar out. Luckily, found this location and was able to do something here, and I'm, I love this location. So, you know, if I remember. That bar was originally from the brick, is that right? Yes. The original the brick, original. you guys brought that one over? Yes, this entire brick. thing uh, came from a bar in London from like the 1700s. Before the old brick, it used to be called a bar called Jack the Rippers. And so the owner of that had bought this bar from, she claims, a bar in the district where he killed a bunch of people. Okay. Yep. There's also rumor that he spilled blood on it. I don't know if I believe that, but <laughs> yeah, that's what they say. Um, luckily with the fire, the fire actually never broke through the ceiling. So okay. we just got basically a lot of water dumped on us. Oh, here we go. Tell us what we're about to dive into. Yeah, well, we're all eating the Thanksgiving burger. Um, as you can see, it's fairly large. Yeah, what's going on here? There's a, this so a lot yeah. going on on this burger. Yeah, so it's got you can see it's got the stuffing. It's a turkey burger. It actually is now. Look at it. A little bit of gravy mixed in, but then you got a whole side of gravy. Basically, what we want you to do is eat it, dunk your burger, dunk the take burger. a huge bite. Yeah. All right, let's go. You ready? Let's dive yeah. in. Tell me more about this. I think it's called the Long Island Iced Tea's Drunker Redneck Cousin is, yes. is how it was uh, relayed to me. Yeah, it's called The Rail. I'll go ahead and say we didn't create it. Um, a bar that I worked at in college in Blacksburg uh, had this drink. It's like one, probably one of the most popular drinks in Blacksburg. If you're a Virginia Tech fan, everyone knows what a rail is. It's called The Rail because it's literally everything on the rail. <laughs> and then a bunch of like some juices, like cranberry sprites and like a bunch of stuff from the gun. It's basically a suicide of liquor and juices. It sounds like a hell of a good time if you have uh, one or two of those. Yeah, yeah you, well, I mean one's enough, but you'll, you'll have a couple people that'll do one or two and then yeah. they're done for the night. Alright guys, that was uh, pretty good. What do you say? One game of darts, loser picks up the tab? Sounds good to me. Alright, let's, right, let's roll.
All right, brother. Thanks so much for having us. The food yeah, was man. awesome. Really appreciate you having us out here. All right. Thanks, yeah, man. Thanks Come so back anytime, guys. Yeah, yeah, thank, thank you. you. All right, brother. Take thank it you. easy. All right, guys, that's a wrap. Make sure to come check out The Brick downtown for beer, hamburgers, and college football. See you guys later. See you guys. All right, that's all we've got for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you want to be notified every time we release a new video, click that little bell icon. Hope you guys have an awesome day.